Welcome to another program in the Tai Chi for Health series by Dr. Paul Lam, designed not only to instruct, but also to inform and inspire. This is the sequel to Tai Chi for Arthritis. Ideal for people who have completed the program and are looking for something more challenging. This DVD is designed for you to learn as though you are attending Dr. Lam's class. Dr. Paul Lam, a family physician and Tai Chi expert, is a world leader in the field of Tai Chi for Health programs. Dr. Lam is the author of Overcoming Arthritis and Teaching Tai Chi Effectively. His Tai Chi for Arthritis program is supported by Arthritis Foundations worldwide. Hello and welcome. I'm Paul Lam. Let me tell you about Tai Chi for Arthritis Part 2 and how we can benefit from it. Part 2 contains two key movements, lesser time coat and fist under elbow. Leisurely Tai Ko is the center of Sun style Tai Chi. It has four components which represent different internal forces. They are used to listening to the incoming force, absorbing, redirecting, and moving forward against a partner. They are also can be treated as four effective ways to understand and enhance your internal energy. This is a challenging and fun movement to learn. Take your time and I think you will enjoy it. The second movement is fist under elbow. It has two components. At the middle the three-in-one posture means body, mind, and spirit are fusing into one. This is a great way to learn how to integrate mind, body, and spirit into one. This seemingly simple movement has so much depth that you will find it most fascinating. Lesson 2 Welcome back. One of the most fascinating things about Tai Chi is that it looks like we are repeating the same thing, but each time we do that, there's something else is deep and meaningful to it. I've been doing Tai Chi well over 30 years. Every time I practice, I find something interesting, fascinating about it. So I invite you, when you do your practice, to approach it with a fresh feeling each time and look at the movement from different aspects and to see if you feel that you have learned something fresh and gained some extra depth in the movements. Learn new forms. In this lesson, we're going to go through three movements. Let me show you the first one. So you can see it's open and closed. The only thing you have to remember is how to go back to that position. So follow me. Turn the left heel inwards. Then shift your weight. Turn the right toe inwards. So both your foot are parallel. 
roughly shoulder width, and your hands just naturally come to that open and close position. Follow me one more time. Turn the heel in, turn the toe in, open, close. Turn the right toe in and let your right hand come down to next to your right hip. Follow me again. Right toe in, right hand down. One more time. Right toe in, right hand down. So your right hand comes down to the hip just like where the other hand's position usually are, in front of the hip. Right hand down, right toe in, and then you shift your weight to the right foot, and then you lift the left heel up and straighten your left foot so you're now facing to the left. And turn your left palm, and you're looking at the middle finger and look past the finger. Let's do that again. Right toe in, right hand down, shift weight, lift the left heel up, straighten up. Now, I like to talk to you about this particular pose. Even though here is not a movement, here is a transitional movement moving to the fist and the elbow. Elsewhere, it's a full movement. And it's a very nice movement. Let me show you front on. So if you turn, and then you shift your weight, then you can see you're really balanced. And the point of the middle finger, the point of your nose, and the point of your toe, the three points are diagonally facing each other. You can call this the 3.1 or 3 in 1, my body spirit, 3 in 1. It's a really wonderful way to practice integrating your mind body into one. It's a powerful posture, but it's also very difficult to do. So take care not to put too much weight on the knee when you don't feel you're strong enough to do that. It's quite okay for you to open up and stand up and gradually, gradually train yourself to get more strength and only do that when you're comfortable. Dr. Lam will demonstrate the entire Tai Chi for Arthritis 12 movements, followed by part two, both sides.